Good morning. I haven't done a uh, video teaching uh, this year, but the uh, reading for um, April 23rd really kind of got to me because it, the whole theme throughout the reading this today is the importance of us teaching our kids. And I think as Lucy's preparing to go away to college, it's like, I, I have, feel like I have like a year and a half to get her to where she's going to go on her own and go into her own promised land without me being there as her guide. Um, so I feel like it's like a year and a half I've got to get this teaching across and then I got to let her go. And so in the reading today, I think this is why it struck me because it talks about how Joshua dies and Joshua is another name to pronounce Joshua is Yeshua. So basically Moses died and he was representative of the law. Joshua takes over and he's the one that leads them into the promised land. Joshua is kind of Yeshua leading the people into the promised land um, under a new covenant. But then Joshua dies um, and this is when in, in Judges, it starts off in Judges and this is where you see it start going downhill. Um, because Caleb, as they go in and fight the people that are in the areas that they're gonna get, you know, maybe they've gotten their land allot allotments. And so now they, they've got to go in and attack the people that are in their land allotments that take over. Well, the only one that really did it was Caleb, because remember Caleb and Joshua were the ones that were with Moses, or with Moses all the time. They were the two spies that were confident in the ability of the Lord. And even though they were older, they were the only ones able to go into the promised land after everybody else who was in the wilderness for 40 years had to die off. They were the only two that were allowed to go in. So they had their faith in the Lord and have seen the miracles. They were able, Caleb was able to, to conquer the people in his land and take over his allotment. But then you start reading in Judges where every other tribe was like, they failed to drive out the people. They failed to drive out the people. They failed to drive out the people. Um, and then when you get down to the tribe of Asher, they failed to drive out the people, and instead they moved in among the Canaanites who controlled the, la the land because they failed to drive them out. Likewise, the tribe of um, uh, Nephetal um, decided that they would just move among them because they failed to drive them out. Um, so they did exactly what the Lord had told them not to do because they didn't have confidence in the Lord. They didn't ask him for his help. They went in and they failed to drive these people out, and then they started living among them. Um, and then it says in um, Judges chapter 2, it says, The angel of the Lord went up from um, Gelgal to Bochum and said to the Israelites. Now, the angel of the Lord here is Jesus. Because of the way he's talking in first person, it says, The angel of the Lord said, I brought you out of Egypt. So that wasn't an angel. That's the Lord. Okay, I brought you out of Egypt into this land that I swore to give your ancestors. And I said I would never break my covenant with you. For your part... You were not to make any covenants with the people living in this land. Instead, you were to destroy their altars, but you disobeyed my command. Why did you do this? So now I declare that I will no longer drive out the people living in your land. They will be thorns in your sides, and their gods will be a constant temptation for you. Um, and so basically, that was Jesus saying, this is going to be your future because you failed to drive out the people and do what I told you to do. You weren't supposed to make covenants with them. And so they're going to be a thorn in your side. And if you look at Israel today and throughout history, they, the people in the land have been a thorn in their side ever since, and their gods have been their temptation. Um, so it says in verse 6, it says, After Joshua sent the people away, each to the tribes left to take possession of their own land, um, the Israelites served the Lord throughout the lifetime of Joshua and the leaders who outlived him those who had seen all the great things the Lord had done for Israel. So basically, they served the Lord only while the leaders who had seen the things and the miracles um, that, um, that God had done, only in that time. Once those people died off, then the people went crazy. They didn't follow the Lord anymore. And it was like, it was to me, it's like, we're that generation who has seen the miracle of the Lord you know, in our lives. We've seen God work in our, in, our, in our lives and done miracles. But if we don't get our children to see God work miracles in their own lives, not our lives, in their own lives, recognize when God does a miracle, then, then when we're gone, 
or out of their lives or they're on their own, they're not gonna have that faith to sustain them. So it's imperative that we help them to see the miracles that God does and understand the God, their Lord, the um, God, in their own way, so that when they go off, they have their own examples to fall back on, not our examples, because that doesn't mean as much. I mean, we want to we want to show them how God works in our lives and that we're modeling that, but we have to help them to see when God works in their lives, so that it's real to them. So then, in Luke, it goes. Um, Jesus is telling him, and he's warning about stuff that's happening in the end times. You know, what you're going to see this happen and this, ha this happen and this happen. So the Luke reading goes on kind of a warning to the kids and to us. Watch out. Don't let your hearts be dulled with carousing and drunkenness and by the worries of this life. Don't let that day, that day catch you unaware like a trap. For that day will come upon everyone living on the earth. Keep alert at all times and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these temptations and these horrors and stand before the Son of Man. So it's kind of like a continue, like, okay, you know, stay alert. We've got to teach our kids to stay alert, to know the signs, so what to look for. Um, uh, and then Psalm 90 was a, is a continuation also of, with kids. It says, O oh Lord, oh Lord, come back to us. How long will you delay? Take pity on your servants. Satisfy us each morning with your unfeeling love so that me, we may sing for joy to, to the end of our lives. Give us gladness in proportion to our former misery. Replace the evil years with good. Let us, your servants, see you work again. Let our children see your glory. And may the Lord our God show us his approval and make our efforts successful. Um, yes, make our efforts successful. So it's like our prayer needs to be let our children see your glory. Not us. I mean, I want to see his glory too, but let our children see their glory so that their faith will live. And um, last, lastly, it's like even the Proverbs, it says, those who spare the rod of discipline hate their children. Those who love their children care enough to discipline, discipline them. So it's all about getting kids to, to be disciplined, but become disciplined, another word for discipline is disciple. So it's basically... Those who spare the rod of discipline hate their children, but those who love their children care enough to dis dis discipline them, but also you can think, those who love their children care enough to disciple them, disciple them to become disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's by training them in the ways of the Lord. Um, so anyways, the whole thing today is probably, because Lucy's looking at Iowa, it's like, I've got one more year to disciple her um, in the ways of the Lord and pray that the Lord will show her his glory. Because when she's gone and out of my care, um, it's on her to follow the Lord into the, her promised land. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay back here and she's gonna go forward, but she's gotta carry that faith. She's gotta be a Caleb. Um, and it's gotta become real to her. Um, so anyways, that's my prayer. Lord Jesus, help our children see your glory. Um, help us to make them disciples. In Jesus' name, amen.